What's up, everybody? Um, I saw the Sixers game last night. And I have to be real with you. Like, the Sixers are not a good team. And I think that they can put on that betrayal that they are. Uh, but from what I've seen, the Sixers, they're not a good team. Like, they don't have chemistry. Um, and I, I think the problem lies with Doc Rivers and his coaching. Um, Doc, I, I, I've i never looked at it uh, from this perspective before. But, you know, if you take away the big three that Doc had down in Boston – and you ask yourself, if you look at Doc now, you say, would Doc have won a championship with, in Boston and became a championship coach if he didn't have that three? Because the three that he was dealing with, you were dealing with killers and you were dealing with guys with high basketball IQ. Now, that's not to say that Doc didn't um, coach and gel that combination together to formulate a championship team. Because he did. But I believe seeing how Doc has went on to the Clippers and so forth and so on, Doc has really been, in my humble opinion, exposed as an overrated coach. Um, and I see what, what's bad about Doc for the Sixers organization is the Sixers is an organization that they either – don't know how to spot talent or, uh, 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 you know, like Iverson or even going back to Charles Barkley. Like those drive picks, but particularly Allen Iverson, like that was one of my humble opinion, one of the greatest draft picks that the Sixers, because they could never have foreseen that Iverson was going to be the great player the, with the killer instinct, you know what I'm saying? He was just raw. Iverson was just a phenomena. And the Sixers have a problem with um, spotting talent. And then when they do get talent, right, when they do get the talent or they, they have the potential superstar, they, uh, they trade it away. They trade th this particular individual. They trade him away. And like, now they have a coach that I think is bad for the way that this team operates because Doc Rivers doesn't like to play his rookie talent, right? You got Tobias Harris, who make, makes these dumbass lazy passes. You got Shake Milton, who is like not only Shake Milton and Cork Moss and Joel Embiid are the laziest passing players, in my humble opinion, in the NBA. Just look at the last pass two, three, four, five games. Like the laziest passes, right? And, and I mean, they, they, I mean, like, they practically throw the ball into the other players' hands. I mean, the basketball IQ is digressing, especially for Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid is doing some of the he's, – he, he done reverted back to being the big dummy. Like, his basketball IQ, like, it's like it never existed. He is 160 degrees or 360 degree turnaround from the player he was last year to the player that he is now. Now, mind you, he scored like 40-something points uh, the game before the last game he had, right? But look at all the mistakes he made and take away those mistakes that he made, throwing away the ball and this and that, and they probably would have won the game. But I see his digression, right? And like I said, Doc 
Doc doesn't, like, he doesn't know how to rotate his talent. Like, he has the young boy, Bassey, right, who has the potential to be a good, good talent. He has Paul Reed, who is, he don't care. He don't care. Like, he blocked Giannis' shot. Like, and Doc sits them on the bench. But he'll keep Shake Milton in with bad passes, and he'll keep Korkmaz in with these bad passes. Like, he doesn't even put Isaiah Joe in. And, 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 and like, look at Tyrese Maxey. Like, he down, he's, he's, um, he, he, he's, he's, uh, he's paranoid to play his game. Now that Joel Embiid is back, and you got to buy his hat, to buy, listen, the Sixers don't have a killer. And Doc River doesn't foster a killer attitude. Now, Doc River has Sam Cassell, right, as the assistant coach, and Sam, as a player, was a killer. And if anybody can spot a killer and um, orchestrate and bring that out of somebody, it would be Sam Cassell. But Doc, Doc never was a killer when he was a player. Never. So Doc is not going to tell a player, man, take the shot. And like I said, the Sixers are, they, they're digressing. And I mean, um, they're really not a good team. And to be honest, I don't even think they're going to make the playoff. Even if Ben Simmons comes back, now, now the thing is to bring Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is not going to add or take away from anything that's going on right now. Right, he is the perfect. Um, he will be the perfect player to come in into this current team right now and add nothing. I mean, look at Matisse. Matisse is playing defense, right? And you can tell the frustration on these guys because Matisse, IQ wise on defense, is out of this world. But he refuses to incorporate the offense of his game. And so the Sixers is in for a long haul. And I'm not just talking about this season. I'm talking about, man, maybe for three or four or five seasons to come.